get the gat, get the gat, get the gat, fellas. What is up? What's up, Jerome's? Happy Sunday morning. Birds are indeed chirping and, and stuff, and it's time for another Vikings news dump. Uh, so, Senior Bowl went down on Saturday, and yeah, Penix opted out. It's fine. I mean, uh, I mean the, the game is important for the city of Mobile. They sold out, which is really fantastic. And I, I understand why a, a, a whole bunch of players opted out uh, of the game because the practice, we talk about practice. Practice is what matters for the senior bowl, uh, for the scouts, for the coaches, for the decision makers. But it is kind of weak. Like you're, you're taking advantage of the infrastructure of what the senior bowl provides, but then you're opting out of the game, even though. On the other hand, I understand it. it's a business decision. It is a full contact football game uh, that is going 100 miles an hour against high level competition dudes who are playing to impress, and injuries can happen. All right, so I, I fully understand that. But uh, Senior Bowl MVP Spencer Rattler coming on in now. Uh, Bo Nix, Bo uh, only played two drives. Uh, Rattler only played two drives too. Went four for four and had a touchdown. And Senior Bowl. MVP. Now, we bring this up because the Vikings scouting department loves them. Some senior bowl MVPs. Christian Ponder, 2011. Uh, Kellen Mond back in the day as well. So, you could say, yes, both these draft picks were Rick Spielman draft picks, but a lot of the scouting department is still relatively intact. There hasn't been wholesale changes uh, for the most part uh, with uh, Quasi coming on in. Now, the, there have been gradual changes, sure, uh, but I don't know, man. I, I, I am worried a little bit because Spencer Rattler, Spencer Rattler came in like hot, like hot fire. Like he was originally, uh, he, he was the OG uh, Lincoln Riley, Oklahoma dude. Uh, wh whether it was Baker, whether it was Kyler Rose, whatever. But Spencer Rattler is supposed to be that next guy, highly touted recruit. Uh, had a very solid 2020 season, but then lost their uh in 2021 to true freshman by the name of what was his name? Oh, Caleb Williams. Yeah, perhaps you've heard of him. So. Uh, then he transferred, uh, which is ironic because both of them uh, ended up transferring from Norman to an uh, an, an SC school. Hmm. Uh, Williams uh, followed Lincoln Riley to USC, uh, and Spencer Rattler took his talents with Shane Beamer to South Carolina. Come on and raise up. Now, uh, Rattler had two okay seasons, like nothing really to write home about, but uh, he does have a live arm. Ah. I, I can't shake the the clip I think it was uh, from when he was playing seven on seven when he was basically just yelling at his teammates now some may see that as fiery some may see that as a spoiled kid I don't know who knows man but uh, Rattler six one two seventeen. I mean he could be in play uh, day two uh, and maybe he hell who knows the draft is weird maybe he goes ahead of Bo Nix maybe he goes ahead of Michael Penix Jr. maybe McCarthy who, who knows at this point man but uh, props to Rattler and we continue sojouring on through the draft process also sojouring on is uh sean mannion slinging sean mannion uh aka the vending machine tuna fish sandwich of quarterbacks it's one of my favorite memes mm. uh but he's getting back in the game brady henderson uh espn nation writer for the seahawks former rams vikings and seahawks quarterback sean mannion you can just say rams and seahawks man uh, is ending his nine-year NFL career and has accepted a position on the Packers coaching staff, a source tells me. He'll work with quarterbacks and the passing game. And you see this a lot where it's very rare where you see star players become head coaches or even OCs or DCs. You don't really have that. when, it, it, And you see that across all sports too. Like It seems like a lot of baseball managers are like backup catchers or – a lot of NBA coaches were role players back in the day where superstar players are just like, hey, go play like I did. Go go have a 50-inch vertical and go, go shoot a three from 30 feet. Or, hey, just just go in there and, and run the piss out of the ball. I don't know, man. But it, it do, does feel like it's these backup guys or these fringe guys who maybe had a cup of coffee in training camp uh, are the ones who rise up in the coaching ranks because when you're not – we're not gifted with all that God-given ability. You have to learn the ins and outs and fundamentals of the game to just wring every single bit of talent uh, out, out of yourself. And th that's the type of thinking that you have to pass on. So it does make sense why a lot of uh, coaches aren't superstars, right? And, uh, well, who, who who's like – of NFL head coaches, like who was the biggest superstar? I mean, Antonio Pierce was good with the Giants. Vrabel was was very good uh, as a linebacker slash tight end uh, for the Patriots. Uh, but if you look around, Kevin O'Connell was a backup. 
uh, you know, Mike Tomlin was played at William and Mary. Uh, Flores played at Bo- Boston College. Didn't really get into the NFL. Um, yeah, so it's crazy. Yeah, like Dan Campbell was a blocking tight end for a number of years. So who knows, man? Um, uh, uh, Matt Lafleur. Uh, we'll, we'll see if the twelve-year-old boy uh, has a shot at the NFL uh, when he's eligible in like nine years. Who knows, man? But uh, so the Packers. And remember, Sean Mann started a game against the Packers at the end of last season, and it's like, and the Packers looked at him and was like, "Got to get us some of that." Mm. Uh, and w- with the Vikings, uh, I think that Kirk Cousins wanted Sean Mannion in in the quarterback room, not only because he's a non-threat. Like Kirk didn't have to worry about him, uh, Sean Manning, ter- 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 uh, but also uh, Manning does think like a coach, and I, I think that you know definitely was uh, foreshadowing for w- what is to come. I mean, hell, Sean Manning w- within ten years is going to be an NFL head coach and probably win a Super Bowls. How dumb would that be? It's crazy, man. Uh, speaking of uh, former head coaches, uh, t- uh, Leslie Frazier getting back in the ga- game. Tom Pelissero. The Seahawks are hiring Leslie Frazier as their assistant head coach per Souses. Uh, the one-time Vikings head coach Leslie Frazier has been long has long been a mentor to McDonald, uh, who's the new head coach of the Seahawks. He now joins McDonald's staff uh, in Seattle. It's McDowell's. Uh, but Leslie, so I always felt like Leslie sort of got a raw deal here with the Vikings. Like he did not have very talented teams, uh, and he, he so Leslie was a lot like Antonio Pierce, where. It, it was a 2010 Vikings. They had a very unpopular head coach. He he was axed, and Leslie got this team playing good enough where the the locker room bought in, ownership bought in, and Leslie was uh, the interim tag was taken off, and he was the Vikings head coach for three seasons. Now, uh, I wanted to believe in Leslie, but I feel like Leslie was almost too nice. <laughs> Uh, too, maybe too soft-spoken, but uh, it's clear that he is uh, a very high-level uh, defensive guy. Um, he, I feel like he got scapegoated quite a bit in Buffalo, but that defense was playing really good for a hot second. But now uh, he goes uh, with uh, McDonald with the Seahawks, and I think that he will be a huge asset in the Pacific Northwest. Also, the Vikings play at Seattle this year, so... Leslie revenge game set up yet again. Mm. Uh, another former Vikings uh, coach is getting back in there. Schefter, uh, Saints are working to hire 49ers passing game specialist Clint Kubiak. Oh, so Clint Kubiak is the blame for Brock Purdy. Mm. Uh, this deal is reportedly being finalized. Uh, as their OC per sources, uh, Kubiak will join the Saints after he coaches the final game with the 49ers in Super Bowl, blah, blah, blah. No deal can be finalized until after the game. It's getting done, right? But So this is interesting because – the Saints are in cap hell, and they got Derek Carr. Uh, maybe they bring back Jameis. Who knows? But Dennis Allen, uh, their current head coach, is basically just a slappy. Uh, he's a defensive guy. So Clint Kubiak is essentially coming in as head coach of the offense. So it's almost like a uh, Gary Kubiak, Mike Zimmer situation. So, I mean, this is a big step up. So not only will Clint be calling plays, he'll be basically just manifesting everything on that side of the rock and trying to make things work uh, with Derek Carr, you know, the the leftovers of Michael Thomas tried to not waste Chris Olave. So who knows? Oh, Kendra Miller's better uh, than Kamara, by the way. So who, who knows, man? But uh, yeah, another shot for him. Didn't really work out in Minnesota with Clint. It felt like, I mean, is he bringing his dad with him? Like his Gary, uh, Gary uh, propane and propane accessories uh, going to Nola with him? Who knows, man? Mm. Speaking of father son, so uh, one one of the great followers on Twitter is Rolando Addison Sr. So uh, Jordan Addison's pops, and I, I love just the unbridled enthusiasm and just pure support for his kid. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Uh, so he tweeted out uh, Jordan Addison, uh, ESPN Jordan, the Viking is ready to make Minnesota his new home. So. Uh, Addison uh, presumably is going to be spending the off seasons here. Uh, the rookie had himself a, a great first year, 10 touchdowns, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, now badass truck. It's great. Uh, I, I feel like if Addison's been spending time here during the winter, I feel like he's getting a false impression of what Minnesota winters are like. Uh, but this truck during a normal Minnesota winter will be fantastic. Woo. Love it, man. Uh, but of course, uh, the, the connotations of Addison driving, well, first off, like, like what, what's the top end speed of this? Probably not a buck forty with, with like the Lambo, but who knows, man? Who, who knows? Uh, speaking of uh, Vikings wide receivers, so Stephon Diggs. Now, I, I love Stephon Diggs. We'll always have the Minneapolis miracle, but it, it was so funny. Like, you'll notice that he always was unhappy when the Vikings were winning, but he was fine when they were sort of whatever. But he was getting his stats. Funny how that works out. And the Bills. 
it seems like the Bills aren't going to get past the Chiefs, and Mahomes and company ain't going anywhere, and the Bills are in, in a bit of a tough cap situation. They may have a rebuild on their hands, and Diggs, I mean, he's not getting any younger, and it could be a spot where he is cut or traded, but uh, Stefan Diggs talked about his future. This is from Sleeper NFL. Uh, quote, I can't tell you what the future holds, uh, but I'm still being me. Hmm. Uh, I'm ready to go no matter which way it goes, end quote. So uh, basically that says, like, you know, I, I love Buffalo. We're going to win a Super Bowl here, blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, basically it says, like, ah, whatever happens, happens. Hmm. I, I feel like I feel like we're, we're like two seconds away from it's a, a another cryptic tweet. Uh, it's time for a new beginning. Uh, your, your enemy walks softly but carries a knife behind the back to stab you between the ribs. I don't know. Uh, I feel like. I feel like receivers are, are, are like their cryptic tweet game is, is is up here. It really is, man. And the whole thing about Stephon Diggs, like whenever he's acting up uh, with the Bills, Vikings fans are just like, we've seen this before. We have seen this before. So yeah, pretty safe to say that the Vikings uh, won the Stephon Diggs trade because uh, God is Justin freaking Jefferson. So n- no no big deal there. But uh, e- either way, I mean, he probably ends up in Dallas, doesn't he? Or Washington and Washington has the cap space. Although, I mean, they do have Jahan Dotson and Samuels to go with uh, Scary Terry. But I mean, Diggs and Scary Terry would be pretty damn good. Dallas, I, I mean, you got CD. I feel like Brandon Cooks and, and Diggs kind of have a lot of crossover. But uh, he, he, oh, I mean, Diggs and the Chiefs makes the most sense, right? But they would never trade him to Kansas City. He would have to be cut. Who knows? Who, who the hell knows, man? But uh, that's it. That's uh, this Vikings news dump on this beautiful, wonderful Sunday. Uh, go win the day. You guys are the best. You know what to do. Skull, production value. 